Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Christian Colabelli. I'm the product manager for Fex Pedals at Eventide, and we're doing an Eventide on the road with Julie Slick. We're here at the Iridium in, in New York, and she is playing with Adrian Ballou, and we're gonna go through her rig, and she's gonna take us through her process. All right, well, it all starts here with my beautiful Lakeland bass, cool. five string P bass, made in America, just beautiful instrument, um, just, Got the P pickup in there, really does everything I need. I love the mid-range that it provides. I go out of that into the Pigtronics Philosopher's Tone. I have one of their micro pedals. Um, touring around the world, you always need to keep things super small and a small footprint. That's why I love Eventide stuff so much, especially the H9, because you can get it down. Like the H9 is, like you said earlier, the Desert Island pedal, so. Desert Island. It really is, so it goes from that micro Philosopher's Tone compressor into a Mantic Vitriol Distortion into the Pitch Factor into the H9, and then I have those Barn 3. Gotta have the Barn Gotta 3. Gotta have the Barn 3. So with the Adrian Ballou show, um, you know, this guy makes a lot of crazy noise, so sometimes I have to make crazy noises too, and I try to use the bass in a more unconventional way, and I don't use like typical bass effects so much. Of course. I do use like, you know, in certain parts, like the octave down, uh, doubler on the pitch factor for right. like Thela, you know. too much because we don't want to overload the bass in the house. Of course, like with this enough. kind of music, there's a lot of notes being played, so we tend not to go, we don't go too heavy on the subs, mm -hmm. frequencies. We're all about those mids. So It's a secret sauce. Yeah, so I use the octave up, and then I also, I have this barn three set so it banks down, and I have like, I'll use the, the octave up to do some doubling things to, to get it to sound like there's a guitar and bass happening at the same time. Cool. But that's, you know, the most basic thing I think that I will use these even tides for. I really love using this, the spaceship sound I call it. Okay, cool. <laughs> of course. Yeah. And sometimes I'll even get down and turn the wet all the way up. And then I have the barn three set to tap tempo. So I'll tend to get it pretty long. And then I've got this little Tesla guy over here. And that is my mute and the tuner. So I actually use the pitch factor to tune the bass every night. That's the first thing I do. That's very cool. Obviously, it's very important to be in tune, especially in playing with Adrian Ballou. I start the show every night with this. It's the big chorus. Big C. Yeah, yeah. The big C. So, you know, playing Mate Kudasai. Yeah. And then also with the 80s crimson stuff, I'm using, oops, go bank up, this like classic slap. So a song like Sleepless, Tony plays it with his funk fingers. Right. He uses a sort of longer delay. Okay. I'm using a pick and. The insanity build uh, I use in one song B for sort of like building this crazy big you know chaotic moment before it comes to the chorus section where we okay. come to a head and so I I'll start like moving up the neck and then I turn that thing on kind of It's like the elevator that just keeps going up in Willy Wonka. Yeah, one more thing yeah, I would please. say I, that I've been using is in a, one song we've been doing, Incompetence and Difference. Uh, oh, nice. It's the name of the tune, and I use this like radio interference sound. Again, typical bass tones. Totally. And then I'll use it in conjunction with the pitch factor, you know, like this photon laser gun sound. <laughs> Totally different dimension right there. Exactly. Awesome. And yeah, I just, I don't know, I really love using these pedals in conjunction with one another. I was telling you a little bit about my band Echo Test earlier. Yes. It's another bass player, Marco Macera from Italy. 
He plays a five string bass in that band. I play a bass six. We both have H9s and pitch factors and we use them for all kinds of fun stuff. Cool. And I will have sometimes two harmonies going at one time. So I'll have like the perfect fifth harmonizer set over here. Uh, let's see what keys that in. And then I'll put a quadravox on over here with the H9. It doesn't sound like there's not much that sounds amazing. digital that's, artifact things that happen. That's a great pairing. Yeah. Very, very, very cool. So I mean, between just even just those two pedals alone, I can get so many sounds. So again, keeping the footprint small, but to be able to, to have yeah, us using access it so to creatively. so many different flavors. Right. My jam. And then cool. it all goes through this beautiful Aguilar rig that we got here and my shades that I wear sometimes in the show. So yeah, the Aguilar Tone Hammer 500 and two SL 112s. It's ridiculous. Portable, light. but it sounds amazing so, yeah, and just huge. Thinking about the, the again the small footprint thing. It's just this thing's like less than 50 pounds. You know, like they're, each one of those is like about 24. You cannot argue with that being on the road. And the Tone Hammer is like no tube, but it's got that drive knob, which helps me get some of that saturation. And great mid range. Exactly. Being all up here on stage. Exactly. Phenomenal. Sweet. Really cool. Yeah. So I guess, I mean, thank you so much for being so gracious to take us through your process and it sounds amazing. Yeah. Just tell us where you can find out more about you, Adrian, whatever. Right. You can check out my website, julieslick.com. Cool. Uh, check out Echo Test. Uh, it's on Spotify and my Bandcamp, is, all my music is up on Bandcamp, julieslick.bandcamp.com. Awesome. And you can definitely find out more about Eventide products through eventideaudio.com. And we're proud to have Julie and we're going to rock out to this amazing show. Can't Thank wait. you guys so much. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>